All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the black bars on your video. OK, so we're trying to make this right here, this black bars, this one and that one, you know, the black bars um, in the cinematic world, in the film world, we call these bars the a letter box. We call them letter boxes. OK, letter boxes. So how you create letter boxes uh, for your videos. So this is the clip right here. So I'm going to do this internally in Premiere Pro. Everything will be done in Premiere Pro. No plugins, no nothing, nothing from external, uh, whatever stuff. It's all going to be internal and uh, it's going to be just so easy for you guys. So what you do is um, this is the footage right here, right? That I want to um, create the black bars for, right? So you can do this on a whole um, sequence. You can do this. On an entire sequence on uh, everything on your timeline um, so here you go so what you do is um, you go in the projects right here the project window the project files on whatever you know your project file so you go there and then in here you go on the gray bar uh, anyway where it's gray and you double click I'm on a Mac so I double click and then this option thing comes up here so you go to uh, new item and new item you go to adjustment layer and then you click the adjustment layer and then uh, this is going to come up. So when this comes up, you just click OK, uh, because this right here, these um, these aspect ratios here are for the sequence. So it's going to automatically bring up your sequences on um, uh, aspect ratio. So everything here is for the sequence. This is the aspect ratio of the sequence. So just click OK. You don't have to change anything. Just click OK. OK, so here go. So the adjustment layer has been created here. So what you do now is um, you go here, you drag the adjustment layer from here and you put it on top of the clips that you want to um, add the black bar to. OK. In our case here, we're trying to add it to this clip here. So you go put it there. So from here, what you do is um, you go into effects, you click the adjustment layer. Then you go into effects. So in the effects, you're going to look for crop so you can search crop and then crop will come up it's right there so if you want to do it manually without searching here all you do is go under video effects so drop down video effects and then uh, under video effects look for transform so you go on transform you go like that and crop is going to be right here so you click the adjustment layer that's what you want to add the effect to right so you double click on crop wow then the um, effect is added to this clip right here our adjustment layer so you now go to the effects control and then as you can see the crop is right here in our um, adjustment layer right so you go to the crop and uh, yeah there it is so what you do now is um, you go to top and um, on so you because you want to add the black bars to the top and the bottom right so you go to the top right here and then um, just type in 15 and then enter and you see you have a black box on the top here okay you have the black box on the top and then uh, you go to the bottom and same thing you go here 15 click enter so now here the thing is like uh, what you could do is if you want to you could um, adjust these to your liking okay so if you want to make it 10 you can make it 10 so you know the lower you go the lower the, the bars go up and down right so in my case, I like doing 15. That's why I suggest 15, but it's up to you and your liking. You can put 12 if you want, you know. You can put 12 if you want. There you go. So since our example has 15 typed in, so we're going to go here. 15. 15. You have the letter box now. So what I do from here is I go on the clips. Um, on the individual clips and I frame them how I want to frame them. So in this case, you're going to go to the clip right here and then go on effects control and then on effects control, go under motion, drop down motion. And then you go to this one right here on the right side. That's what um, controls the clip going up and down. So you frame it how you want to frame it. So in my case, I want to frame it kind of like um, a little bit over here in there. So kind of like right here. So that's how you do it. So I framed it how I want to frame it. And it's as easy as that, guys. Everything is internal. You don't need any external, you know, PNGs or whatever. 
this is just how you do it internally in uh, Final Cut Pro without you know using anything else outside of Final Cut Pro so I hope this video helped you out a lot because I know it's gonna help somebody so if it helped you please click the like button and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel guys please 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 and also if you want eight free cinematic wedding lots wedding film lots go in the link in the description it's gonna be the first link in the description of this video you can go and get eight free lots for your wedding films or whatever project you're working on so that's it for today guys have fun and uh, enjoy your day